Kamala's Kamala's. Uh, oh, you had it right. You almost got it. I will say Kamala's name it. any way that I want to. No, but Kamala. But you mispronounced her. You also misjudged. Just did White lady, man. <laughs> you got no better than that, man. <laughs> you got no better than that, man. They just looking for anything. I mean. They have no policies. Kamala's hiding. They have nothing. She was, she, I mean, she was dreadfully inept at her job with the borders are. They have nothing. All they have is race. That's it. And listen, man, I feel you. I feel terrible for y'all, man. Y'all created this country. You guys keep the lights on. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, grain, steel, rubber, all those things, those essentials that we need, that if all those industries are run by you, I mean, we got hip hop on at least the stage part of hip hop and the court part of basketball and the field part of football, but Everything else, concrete, cement, plaster, every other industry that makes a gazillion dollars a year that runs a country, the all the governors, the senators, the staffers, the pages, go to Capitol Hill. I, li I lived in D.C. I still in D.C. all the time. Go to Capitol Hill near the Capitol and see who all the pages and the staffers are. See what they look like down at the Capitol. But you've backed yourself into a corner where you can't say anything, where you're policed and held to a higher standard um, by your own on the liberal side and everybody else. So I think this was a misstep on her part unless your men the 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 glider men the the caucasian men are going to stand up and just be like yo man no way man we're not going to keep you know being like second class citizens in the public square you're going to have to watch your tongue missy like listen to them they, once she said that she lost all respect even though she probably wasn't going to get much respect from these panels they don't respect conservatives black or white um listen how they talk over her after she says that it gives them the green light in their mind and in the public square and in um Everyone else's mind. Okay, well, they're they're disrespecting her, cutting her off, and and talking over her now. Um, well, she deserves it because you know she made us a, a social faux pas. She made a misstep. I mean, anything involving a black person, or by even two two degrees of separation, that can in any possible way be construed as being even at the bare minimum insensitive or aloof or ignorant to anything going on with black people. So racism is basically like everywhere, like they said it was. And Kamala's, Kamala's- uh, Oh, Kamala. you had it right. You, right. you almost got it. I will it. say Kamala's name it. any way that I want to. No, but, Kamala, but you mispronounced her and you did. also misjudged her. I just did and I'll do it again. Mispronouncing her name. That's why we're going to acknowledge her name. If I purposely mispronounced your name, I would not be appropriate. Kamala's policies, but 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 when you disrespect Kamala Harris, 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 that's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just said you were a racist. Yes, that is cool. no. yeah, Yes, you are, Michael. Michael, you're calling her a racist. The only problem with that, Michael, and it's not a problem for you because you can do whatever you want. You're, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a brother, man, in CNN. You can do whatever you want. There's nothing that you can't do. There's no restraints. You're not held to any standard. 
Um, and, and this is the thing about that was so good about Michael Rubin the other day when he talked about the hate that, you know, ebony folk have for other ebony folk, sun folk versus sun folk hate. Is even though he got dragged um, and people acted like they didn't know what he was talking about, um, at least we know that, you know, white folk know how we are to a degree, man. They know, man, that, man, every black person don't know. Man, it's probably 5% of the black population that knows her name is Kamala. We've never pronounced Kamala Kamala. Every Kamala in our community, which is, that was a common name back in the 80s, was Kamala. Never did I ever know a girl who pronounced it Kamala. We don't pronounce it like that. So you can gaslight this white woman and ruin her reputation and brand her as a racist and mess up her future um, prospects in anything she endeavors in because now she's a racist because anybody can, any black person can brand any white person a racist. Um, Mike, whenever I talk to a black person, they always call her Kamala. Unless they went to HBCU and was like class president or something like that. And like, they got to be like exceptional to know it is Kamala. Most regular black folk thinks it's Kamala. Mm. Michael. <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like self-hatred and justification of white supremacy. And let me just say this, because this congresswoman is a wonderful human being. But, but, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that said that you weren't racist. Yes, that is complete no, You yes. don't have to intend racism no, to No, 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 you are it. intending that I am Your disrespect racist, of Kamala Harris and that is, is part of you. I like her trying to stand up for herself. I like her trying to stand up for herself, but no other white person is going to stand up for her. No one. And when I say no one, I'm not talking about like some random streamer or some random TikToker or somebody on with a Twitter account with a bunch of followers. I'm talking about nobody of note, nobody with a name, nobody who lives in the public sphere, man, who goes come to her aid, man, and be like, yo, that's not racist. You're ridiculous, man. Hey, man, here go this dunce cap, man. You got to be kidding me. Are you calling that racist? You idiot. You moron. Nobody's going to do that. She's out on her own. And that's the thing about um, white folk. Y'all never come to defend each other, man. Defending each other is seen as racist. So since she's been called racist, anybody who defends her is also a racist. So that's like, man, we got y'all by the, we got y'all by the kahunas, man. <laughs> How y'all ever going to get out of this, man? It's only going to get worse, man. And they're continuing to over talk her and disrespect her and not let her get a word out. Any could you imagine some men, white men or conservative men over talking Corey Bush or uh any uh Angela Rye, any black woman that came on any one of these shows, could you imagine that? That would be racist. Just them not allowing her to speak and over talk. It would be massage and war. Congresswoman, why can't you just why can't, I'm not calling you a racist. I'm saying you what the practice is. You are. You are. You are. You are. The player where I'm saying is disrespecting. No, what's disgusting is your disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what? You didn't know her name. You know what's disgusting is her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if 25 years ago, white women don't have the ability to tell black women who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 years. Woo! Put you in your place, othered you, made you low beneath them. Black women up here, white women down here. Could you imagine if the language in the speaker was reversed? That guy would never work, never be invited to any shows. Yo, even like 
I, he couldn't go on Rogan. He couldn't go on Anthony Camilla. He couldn't. Yo, that guy would be radioactive on the underground if the 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 words that Eric Michael Dyson just said were reversed, and the speaker was reversed, and the target of the speech was reversed. Five years ago, black I women became... don't have the ability to tell black women who who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. Twenty five years, years ago, twenty five years ago, I became humanity. the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I so fought call her name my right. way through it. So pronounce her name right. Let me ask you that. And right. Kamala Harris, if Kamala. I love... yeah, you were the first woman to <laughs> to uh, graduate from this great military. Um, institution um, in its 200 plus year history. But you just mispronounced Kamala, <coughs> Kamala, whatever. You pronounce it the same way every black person I know pronounces it. So none of that means anything. Now you're a racist. Go into exile. <laughs> And we're not going to respect you anymore. You've lost all respect, and there'll be no women come to your aid. The one uh, of a host is a woman, and she's not going to be like, "Come on, guys, she's a woman. You're over talking a woman. You're disrespecting a woman." You've you 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 never had that, of course, but you've lost you've lost what you never had. If one of them slapped you, they would explain it away. You're a white woman disrespecting a black woman. That's problematic. But which, you know, in no uncertain terms, man, the implication is that, you know, you're beneath and I would never say that the other way around. If a white, if a black woman disrespected the white woman, I would never say you're a black woman disrespecting the white per woman, and that's problematic. No one could say that. Hey, man, that you a black woman <laughs> disrespecting the white woman? And that's problematic, man. Listen, it ain't just getting started. Yikes. It's going to be a long, I don't know how you're going to get, I don't know how conservatives going to get out of this one, man. I don't know how they're going to win it because they, they're not going to stand up. They're not going to be, the, the the conservative men are not going to be real men. They're all weenies. Um, All the conservative men are weenies. All of them. Every single one of them. The only one that's not is Trump and Elon. They're the only two. And when I say this, every single other one of them is a weenie. Now there's some YouTubers, you know, that that I think aren't weenies, conservative YouTubers that aren't weenies. But all the ones that are like that aren't independent of all the non-independent that that don't that don't work for themselves, conservatives, they're all we every single one of them weenies. This just, so I don't see how you get out of this. He's untouchable. So does Kamala. I mean, Kamala. Kabama. 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 Hit the like button, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.